Hello everyone, today we're going to be using a tree map to uh, write a program that counts words, uh, sp specifically words repetitions, in a text. So I created a class, I already wrote our main method, and I imported the whole java.util package. That's why we have the wildcard the wild card, uh, asterisk there. So let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to say System dot out dot print line. Welcome to our program. It's always nice to be nice, right? So system out dot print. Uh, new line, new line. Please enter the text. So we're asking the user for a text so that we can check. So. For us to read that, we create a scanner object. So scanner input new scanner system dot in since we're reading from system. And since we are dealing with string, so might as well create the the, the input text, and that's just going to be the input dot next line since we're dealing with strings so this what this does is this right here is going to read the whole thing everything that the user types in it's going to store in this variable right here the input text okay now so right now we let's just run this real quick so you see so right now we have please enter text um sorry this should say welcome to your program Enter text, so that's all this is doing. Okay, and I'm entering text, and that's it. Okay, so right now I'm going to declare a string array called words. And this is going to be the input text dot split. Okay, what this does, we're gonna have the whole input as a string and we want to split it word by word so the way we do it we we try to use the white spaces so I'm gonna start by typing in some some of the things that we know are escape characters and things like that so new line brackets uh, tabs returns commas dots semicolon colon um, exclamation question marks parentheses and curly braces and all that good stuff okay so what right here we have this input text split by char like space characters or white space characters stored into words so we have a string array of words only okay so since we have all this down we're gonna start using what we actually want to use which is a tree map so a, a tree map is really good at traversing the keys and sorted uh, in a sorted order so in other words I'm just write this so it's gonna be <clears throat> a string and integer just just gonna call a map so as I was saying <clears throat> excuse me a tree map takes the input you know and it creates a key and which makes it easier for us to to locate and it also sorts the the array in the map itself so it's pretty neat so now that we created a tree map we're just gonna do a for a for loop so what we're doing here we're gonna loop through every element in, in the words array. So words that length i plus plus. So so we're just gonna loop through it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start storing a key and it's gonna be the key is gonna be a string. So this is the key in a in a tree map, this is the key and this is the value. So this is going to be our count and this is going to be the word we pass in so string key will be the, the
the word that we pass in at the current moment. And since we don't care about uh, case matching, we're just going to make everything to lowercase. So, so just bear with me for a moment. So right now we have a, a, a key which is a word at a current location. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start checking for it. So, I'm sorry. If the words the word at i dot length is greater than 1. In other words, if the word is at least two characters, then we do something. Oops, I, I created a space here. I'm sorry. So, if the word is at least one character, then if our map, oops, yeah, our map dot get key. So this is a method from a tree map get. So what we're passing in, we're passing in this this key. So so if we get a key and the key is null. Then it means it's a new key. So what we do is we we create we put the new key in a value. So this value is going to be an integer value because we declare it as integer, and it's going to be one. Okay. What this means this is what you need to understand. So the map has a key and a value. So in our program we are counting for word repetition. So our key is the word. Okay. So let's say if I type in, I'm just going to do some real quick. If I type in uh, YouTube, Yahoo, Google, YouTube. So we're going to iterate through this. So YouTube is going to be our key and the count and, and this one, since this is a new key, so this is not in our list yet. So we assign one. So what one is, all we're saying is this is the first time YouTube is on the list. So for instance, if we're just running this real quick, uh, we get, as of right now, map, get key, YouTube is going to be one. Great. Um, because it's null. Yahoo will get one. Google will get one. YouTube would not go through this because YouTube is already on the list. So you get what I'm saying when you start uh, writing the next statement. So we get this. Okay. Now, if it's not new, okay, then, oops, I'm trying to format here. If it's not new, then we just declare a new value. And this is going to get the map that we're going to get the current key and its int value. We're going to increase it and we're going to put the new key in. Key value. Okay. Okay. This is kind of complicated. But you understand. So if the map, if the key, if the word, if the key, if the word is new, which is null, we insert a key, we insert the word and the number one. If the key, if the word is already on our list, then the value, which is this, has to be increased. But how do we increase it? First of all, it needs to be increased by one. So the first thing we do is we get the current value. So that's why we declare this int value. We declare the, the current value. So map.getKey.int value is going to tell us what is the current value. So once we get this, we increase it by one. That's why the value plus plus. Once we increase it, we take that key, we put it back, and we put the new value in, which is this. Okay? So that's great. So now this is ready. We all we gotta do really now is start just show the user what we need. So 
I'm not going to get into too much detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to system that out that print line and I'm just going to take the map. I'm see if there's oops. I'm just going to print map and you're going to see what happens. Okay, I don't have too much here. I delete this one here. So all I'm doing is I'm deleting this map which is the tree map that we have been adding these words with keys on. So let's run this real quick and you see what happens. So let me just make this bigger. Welcome to our program. Please enter text. Uh, I'm just gonna write some real quick. Uh, we have used the tree map and we need to type we three times okay so guess what first of all we see that this is sorted so the word and gets one have one need one the one three one times is one two is one three map is one type is one use is one and we is three so we we have used we need and we so this means that each of the numbers represent the occurrence of each word so that's pretty much it for the video uh, if you have any questions please let me know thanks